The top five most interesting bowl matchups to me. We'll start off with number five, the Armed Forces Bowl, and that is Air Force against Baylor. If you're Baylor, you know, you go six and six, Dave Aranda, um, making a change at defensive coordinator. Like, there's there's just a lot to figure out with what is happening with the Bears right now. And still a pretty good coaching job by Aranda and that bunch, uh, Jeff Grimes, etc. But if you're wanting to get extra bowl practices, do you really want to do it against a triple option team? Like, that that just sounds like an absolute nightmare to me. Uh, this I, Baylor opened up as like a six-and-a-half-point favorite. It's an interesting spot. Just a very, very interesting spot. Uh, Air Force has been playing significantly better as of late. I'm very curious what Baylor's going to try and accomplish with this ball game. Are they going to try and win, or are they just going to use the practices? That's what I want to know. Number four, the New Mexico Bowl. That's right, BYU and SMU. If you remember the 1980 Holiday Bowl, I am not that old. However, I have watched a tape of that. That's a, I, I've I've watched multiple times that ball game because it was so incredible. You should go back and watch it. Really, uh, th- these teams have only met like three times. This could be interesting because I, you remember the SMU Houston game from earlier this year where nobody was able to get a stop, and I think the game ended like seventy-seven to sixty-three or whatever it was. I, you could have another one like this because I don't believe either one of these defenses is going to be able to get a stop here. Uh, but that's that's just a fun ball game. That's I mean that one's really going to be a lot of fun. Number three, the Alamo Bowl, Washington and Texas. What is the motivation for either one of these teams? Washington had USC won the Pac-12 title. Washington might have been in line to go to the Rose Bowl. How much does that mean? Is this a is this a disappointment for them? And with Texas, uh, you're going to the Alamo Bowl. You're not going to the Sugar Bowl or the Orange Bowl or the Cotton Bowl or whatever. Uh, this this one is a little bit less than what they really wanted to try and accomplish. What do they do here? So you're looking, you're trying to maybe play psychologist a little bit. Um, you know, big news with Washington. We'll talk about that here in a little while as well. Number two, the intriguing matchup here. Tulane against USC. And I don't know that Caleb Williams is going to play in this ball game because of the uh, the hamstring injury that he suffered uh, in the Pac-12 title game. That one's going to be a lot of fun to watch and see because USC cannot stop anybody. Tajay Spears may have an afternoon. I mean, he may just have uh, an NFL type of day, right? To where he is going to look absolutely fantastic. He has been beating up everybody. Like you saw him do it against UCF, almost 200 yards rushing again. That's that's going to be a lot of fun to see exactly how USC shows up in that ballgame. Uh, number one for me, the most interesting ball game or the most interesting bowl game to me is Troy and UTSA and it's on that first weekend. I mean, it is super early and the Cure Bowl, like that, they've had some really, really good matchups. I believe the Cure Bowl was Liberty against undefeated Coastal Carolina not that long ago. I mean, it is an absolute awesome, awesome spot. And you got two top 25 teams here in Troy and UTSA. You got one really good defense, one really good offense, and... The other two, the other two sides of the ball are starting to pick up the slack a little bit. These are two great coaches. I am excited. I am excited about that. We'll talk about all of the other bowl games, of course, over on the Bet US College Football Show. I will uh, do some analysis on all of the games here as well. But uh, but yeah, make sure you're subscribed here. Make sure you are subscribed over there as well. Uh, if you have not already, again, like the video for me, subscribe to the channel, and um, and yeah, thank you guys. Subscribe to the podcast as well. Uh, leave a nice five star review over there. Thanks for listening to Winning Cures Everything. Make sure and subscribe on YouTube or your favorite podcast app. And make sure to leave a nice five-star review. You can follow Gary on Twitter, at GaryWCE. And the show is at Winning Cures. Be sure to check out the merch in our web store and share the show.